Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Rogue Legacy Challenge Runs. And I have taken a general consensus from my chat and they have told me that I should really click on this screen so that I actually have control over this screen region here. Okay, anyways. And they have told me that I should be able to have runes, runes in general, and all the upgrades I need to get runes as well as first level equipment so what this means and I have to kind of agree with them I thought that people would take this this exact um, view of things is that I need to be able to get the rune person and for that I need mana oh shit I don't didn't need mana fuck um, I need health I need upgraded knight there we go I need equipment up, and then I need to be able to get the Enchantress and the Architect, because they want me to be able to lock down and they want me to be able to have runes. Unfortunately, mana was not necessary for that, I apologize, but believe me, I will never take, I will almost never take advantage of that. So now I just need 150 gold, and I am still after the first boss, so I do have a bit of extra mana, a bit of extra HP now. Um, but absolutely no weapon power, so basically I can never upgrade my equipment load, but I can equip any equipment that I don't need to upgrade my equipment load to equip. If that makes any sense. As well as that, I should be able to get runes, because I need some sort of reward for going through this at all. Oh, man. Ow, you were in the air when that happened. Completely unfair. Okay. And I took an extra hit trying to get that health back, which made the health entirely not worth it. There we go. Managed to get through there rather easily. And I should probably be using that spell occasionally. It's one of the best spells in this game, especially early game. It tends to tear through everything. So what I'm trying to do is get as fast as I can to the forest and then survive the forest. And while I'm at it, I might as well actually gather some money this time because I need $250. Or more to see. To be a Pokemon Master is my destiny. Well, there we go. Have all the money I need. And that means I can also start getting runes. Might as well also get the MP here since I have used a bit. And this is going the wrong direction, so I need to backtrack through this room. I assume, anyways. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure about that. I almost hit that spike ball for no particular reason. Again, um, I'm going to say the exact same thing I said here as I said to the people watching Don't Starve. I'm currently experimenting with being a bit further away from the mic. It's just a matter of convenience. If it sounds worse in any way, I will go back to how I used to have it set up. And while I'm being distracted by telling you guys about it, I will definitely take like two or three hits of damage if you don't mind too much. Take no damage. I do have the shield now. But I might not need the shield. Now I need the shield. Okay, there we go. That was, that was a tiny bit nerve-wracking, I must admit. Um, I even missed what rune I got, to be honest with you. Like, I didn't see at all. I didn't see my Adderall. And since I am now... Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, since I'm now trying to get runes, I might as well pick up some money. This will make it considerably easier. Thank you guys who thought I should go with it. And there was one person who said absolutely no upgrades. And to you, I have to say, I couldn't have beaten it without any upgrades at all. I, I don't think it was possible. And I also have the advantage of having one class who has a shield. So now I have the Enchantress and I have the Architect. So I can lock things down if I need to. Which I, I think will be a fairly major part of this whole strategy. I, I don't actually... No, I... I stop! Stop! I don't care. Yes. You. Give me a dash rune. Also, give me a haberdash rune. Give me a vault rune. No, oh, can't actually afford the vault rune. And I only currently have three runes. I like how it comes with the dash and with the jump rune. So I might as well get this sword. Indeed, I cannot afford the sword either. So apparently I could afford less than I had initially anticipated. But I do now have the dash. So certain fairy runes that were not available to me should now be available to me. And this is all the upgrades I get. It's just kind of the absolute necessity. I didn't mean to down attack there. Oh, fuck. 
This whole setup will have a treasure chest at the very top. So remember that when you see how I'm doing this. And quite possibly some health too. Oh, screwed up there. Screwed up there as well. I don't actually have the double jump, so I fucked up so bad that I cannot make this. So I guess I will just destroy all of these, get some more HP, use this once to maybe get a few more kills, and move on. Oh shit, okay. So what I want to do is go to the middle and then jump up, yeah! I'm so used to having um, sliding and jumping that it really confuses me when I only have one or the other. That is kind of unfortunate. Puts me at a bit of a disadvantage. Yeah, killed you. Killed you hard, motherfucker. If you head underneath here, you have the advantage of not having to deal with any of the enemies, except for the skeletons who can actually fire through the floor. Extra gold! It's Christmas time in the city. Yeah, 11 health, some extra MP too. Um, remember, I do have this spell. I have, I'm saying that mainly so I remember, not so that you guys remember. I'm sure you will remember that I have that spell. Not too interested in fighting Ponce de Leon at this exact moment. Guard boxes are so easy when there's just one of them. Love how there's rooms guarded by single guard boxes in the first um, in the first area. Oh, so easy. I remember when you were this easy game. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I say and then immediately take damage. Wow. Get away from me. Blazelock, did you not hear what I said to those wolf things? I need you away. Um. No. I also have to remember that I now have that block. So I'm assuming I'm now going to want to lock down? Nearsighted baldness, farsighted, and the knave. Well, you know, I'll take the knave. I will take the knave, and I will take a sword, and I will take a lockdown. A knave sword lockdown, if you will. Helmet is health and mana. Boots, magic, cape is crit chance. So I think the next thing I want is probably actually a rune for double jumping. Lovely! And this is currently all I can get in terms of upgrades. I didn't lock down the fortress, so... You know, I'm an endomorph, I have a bigger sword than average, if you know what I mean. And that should indeed help me get... Ow! That was just bad luck, I think. That was bad luck and then I'm almost dead. And then I am dead. Because apparently I'm just like the biggest bitch of all time. Well, pretty much I just wanted the game to make me as bitch. Nothing to worry about, really. Um, swearing or eidetic memory. Mem memory? <laughs> eidetic memories. I don't believe how eidetic my memory is. The most eideticest memory of my life. And if I memory, I'm gonna memory with you. And if I'm memory, I'm gonna memory you. Take my memory and memory away. Sorry, I'm just way too obsessed with the whole memory thing now. Whoa! Did not mean to press whatever the fuck I pressed there. So let's get the hell out of the start menu. Like I said, my controller right now is a tiny bit meh. So the ambivalence trait, by the way, it makes me fire all spells backwards, which is actually kind of cool when it comes to the chakram, because you can fire it across the whole map very easily without turning around. But in terms of the knife, it means I have to turn around before using it. Lovely, got hit once there. I'm not sure why I'm saying that's lovely. It clearly is not, like, by definition, lovely. That's a, that's a bad thing. Well, I guess unless you're really into being hit. Ow! In Christ. You know, for a class that specializes in crits, I've gotten very few crits, I say, right before I get a crit. Oh! One more. Sorry, I generally expect shit to die in two hits. Give me a break! Game! Okay, so what I really want to do... Ow! 
is go up and to the left so that I can actually get to the forest entrance. I just want regular ass paladin. Lady Chun Li the first. You can do it. I believe in you. I also believe in a thing called love. You just gotta listen to the rhythm of the heart. I believe in a thing called love. Oh man. Never allow me to sing that song. Never. And you will turn. Whoa, okay. Here we go. Gotta get the fuck out of there. Avoid the doom visses. Avoid the everything. Lovely. And I have the feeling that this is probably the way to the next area. Could be wrong, however. What I love about these rooms is that you can actually knock these guys into the pits. If, if you can't kill them in two hits to begin with. So, big fan. I think the easiest part of this whole experience will actually be fighting Johannes. Or, you know, not, because... It just took way too much time. If I just slowed down a tiny bit and focused on actually taking out the rooms, like, one enemy at a time... Hey, Wolf. Sup? I'd probably be a lot better off. I might as well check up here. Just to see what is what. Is there anything good? Uh, I don't like that room at all. So, time to carry on. My wayward son. There'll be peace when you... Okay. Now, where is the safe place? Pretty much everywhere except for where that one shot lands. Lovely. Oh, it's a good thing I had double jump there, else I never would have been able to get out. Stop it. Stop it. Excellent. I get a free treasure test here. And I'm going to try to break things. I kind of am in desperate need of health. I'm not sure if with my current health I could beat Alexander. To be honest, I'm assuming no. Okay, defeat all enemy rooms this early in the game. Kind of super easy. Unless they have horses. Oh... I despawned this guy, but he is now back. Remember, I can despawn things. All the enemies that I killed will stay killed, so I can take my time and leave to reset enemies if I need to. Oh, that, that was all of them? Cool. Spare siphon room for the cave. If I could get vampirism runes, or just like a couple of them, I think that would be very helpful. I think it would be very... Oh, Jesus. Ow. Salos? Yep, Salos. No! <laughs> I dashed too early. Why must I have done it? Okay, so this time I am going to lock down the area. I have a nearsighted OCD. I'd rather just go with um, with Stereo Blind. And I do like the Sight Spell. It will help me deal out some massive damage. Help me hit the enemy's weak point for massive damage. And the Siphon Rune is for mana. Nope, not gonna get it. Lock down the castle. You can take 60% of my my gold. It's not like I need to spend it on much. It's not like I need much at all. And back to the forest. So all the enemies will have respawned. The treasure will not have respawned, which is unfortunate. But like I said, I don't really need treasure. All I need is love. ba 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 da da all I need is love, ba ba da da da. All I need is love, love. Love is all I really need. Okay, so that was Salos down there. So this time, yeah, found the boss. Check it out. Not to mention there is a bunch of health available. And I found that rather quickly, and I can lock down and come here and try to fight it over and over and over again. But I would rather not. I'd rather just kill this motherfucker. Which is going to be tough, considering I don't do much damage, I um, don't have any lifesteal, I probably don't even have the skill that I need in order to beat this fucker. But I do have mobility, which is better than I had last time. And when I say mobility, I of course mean TELUS mobility. Um, they provide me with excellent cell phone service. I am lying. Why am I even advertising TELUS? 
I don't even have a fucking phone. I do not use a phone. Probably like the only fucking person in this generation who doesn't. Or in my generation. I've had friends who have had cell phones since they were like 10. Okay, so I've taken one hit. Oh god, okay, it's a good thing I took a hit from one of these fuckers instead of from Alexander there. Just trying to get some crowd control done. As long as I keep failing to take hits from Alexander and instead take him from take hits from his minions, I should ow! Oh, god damn. The thing is with so little crowd control there is so much that can hit you in every situation. No, why? That was so close. Okay, so what I want to do ideally here is use a paladin, lock it down, and then try. Ecto mm. Actually, ectomorph may be an advantage here. Hypergonadism and gigantism, that's actually what I want. That is very much what I want. I just gotta lock it down, lock it down. Now what I should have done is actually used my spells a tiny bit. I said lock it down. Asshole. When I say fucking asshole, of course, I'm talking to myself for being a goddamn idiot. Goddamn ass face. I kind of wish I had the miner so I could just see where the bosses were. Because it would be really nice if I could kind of know how to head to the Maya next. Because I'm fairly certain I'm actually going to beat this asshole this time. Even with the slightly lower damage, I actually I'm the same class I was, so this is the same amount of damage. And much bigger reach, so I'm not sure why I was saying I have disadvantages there. That was clearly a lie. Ah, oh, my um, my be. <laughs> I almost saved myself with knockback there, but oh! Remember when I said I have advantages this time? Apparently one of those advantages isn't the ability to actually play this fucking game, so... Why must I have wasted all the advantages? Okay, let's try this one more time. With... I don't even fucking know. The mage, I guess. I, I think maybe after this I should try it even one more time because this is kind of a crappy class to even try. Yes, lock down my fucking castle. Because early game with no upgrades, magic? I, I wouldn't go as far as to call it OP. So put it bluntly here. Would not call it OP, even if you paid me. Well, I'd call it OP if you paid me because I'm a massive sellout. But that's not the point. Not to mention it'd be a very pretty minor way of selling out. Come on. You gotta admit. If somebody was like, hey, can you call magic massively OP for me for five bucks? You'd probably say it. Makes sense to me. Not to mention if you're talking like real life, you're probably correct. Somebody if somebody was magical in real life, they'd be more OP than non-magical assholes. Managing to get some spare MP going on here. Unfortunately, I have very little in terms of in terms of health, so I can't really afford to take any hits at all. The the bonus, the one plus I have right now is that this is actually fairly good from a crowd control standpoint. because I can keep just firing these off into this crowd and controlling them, as one might say. If they were trying to describe the concept of crowd control. Yeah, but I just don't have enough MP or damage on my magic to make that work. So let's try this one more time with a Barbarian, and then I'm gonna have to call it an episode. At the very least, I have the lockdown available to go fight Alexander. But I'd rather beat him this episode, like I really would. I, I know that seems like fairly... That seems fairly obvious that I would rather beat him, but... I'm thinking more in terms of the whole YouTube paradigm. Does paradigm even make sense there? Oh, I know how to use paradigm, but I just don't know what to... Where to use it. 
Or the really exact meaning, I guess, even. Is Paradigm spelled Paradigm? Is that the word, or is it, am I thinking of a different word right now? I think I'm just getting all confused, getting my words mixed up, as I tend to occasionally. Whoa! Come on, bitch! Don't be like that! And by bitch, I mean all these fucking skull assholes, these furies, these Nick furies. Ah, oh, I was really hoping to get under there in time. <laughs> There's so many! And now they're just everywhere, too. <sighs> and I officially have one health left, and I'm dead. Hmm. To be honest, this might mean challenge run failed. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.